Okay guys, well, this is just really fun, I have to tell you. I love coming out here and honestly I've been working so much, uh, I haven't even had a chance to lately. So this is like what I like to call garden therapy. I don't know if you guys have any kind of special things like that that you like to do, but I sure do. It's definitely coming out here. It just gives me this feeling of, I don't know how to say it. It's like uh, right inside here, it's like this feeling of, you just kind of let some of the cares of the world go away. I know that sounds crazy, but um, just being out here on the plants and knowing that I have a couple hours, I can work out here uninterrupted. My son <laughs> actually had a Lord of the Rings marathon last night because <laughs> we don't have school today. So um, he watched Lord of the Rings, no kidding you guys, for 12 hours. <laughs> he started about 8 p.m. It's now about 8 a.m. and he just uh, texted me and said, Mom, I'm all done. And he's going upstairs to bed. So anyway, I have the morning free. My daughter and I are going to do some shopping this afternoon for my son's birthday. So don't tell him. And so I've got a couple hours to myself, which if you guys have kids, and my kids actually are both teenagers, but if you have kids, you know that that's not always possible. So anyway, got my garden therapy going this morning. Back to the garden here. Um, okay, I don't know how this looks on camera, but to me, it just looks really overgrown. I've got some tomato bushes at the top here that I was leaving in. If you guys remember, we're on the garden channel. We did a tomato plant boost video. I was leaving them in um, in hopes I get a few more out of them, and I did. But honestly, now I think the nights are getting, you know, in the 50s. A couple times even dropped a little bit lower than that. Don't think I'm gonna lot get a, gonna get a lot more production out of them. Um, there's actually some bloom still on them, but honestly, they don't get a lot of sun right now with the time change and all that. So, all that to say, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out today. And I've been planning, as I take my tomatoes out, I've been planting some beans. So my beans are starting to sprout kind of all over the hill. But really my goal for today is to get this cleaned up. Now, over here, I'm just gonna turn the tripod. Okay, over here, I've actually already taken out some stuff from a garden bed right over here. Just some zinnias and plants that were just getting old and scraggly. You want to get a little more sun over here if possible because I did plant some beans. And coming this weekend, let me show you what I'm going to be working on. Okay guys, so this behind me is where I grew my cantaloupe and a couple watermelons that you might have seen last summer. Now, take a look. Okay, this is a dried out, you know, skin of a cantaloupe. All right, now this is kind of a major project to take this out, which I'm going to be working on this weekend and showing you guys a uh, garden clean out video over on the garden channel. Um, you can see this is just totally dried up. So what I want to do, and hopefully we'll get this film this weekend, is take all this out. But the thing is, is that I've got some old soil in here that I really don't like, wasn't happy with how it performed. So it is a bit of a project because I've got to take out that old soil, a lot of work, a lot of huffing up and down the hill, and we've got a big old trash barrel, of course at the top of the hill, which is full of some new garden soil that we're going to mix in with this. So I'll probably take out maybe a third of it or so, mix in the new stuff, and then I want to plant this whole bed and the bed where my pumpkins were full of greens. I'm super into greens right now, super into kale, super into juicing, and I've been going to the farmer's market every week and spending between $20 and $30 on not just greens, but you know, just fruits and vegetables and stuff because I don't have a lot of greens growing right now because it's just starting to get cool. So I want to fill these garden beds full of greens and probably do it like a succession planning kind of thing. And I'll put that all on video for you guys so you guys can see it over on the garden channel. But I'm really excited about that. And I want to grow so a lot of different varieties. I actually have just ordered some seeds from um, and my gardener. He's got a new seed shop over on his, on his website. And I'll be doing a um, little unboxing video. My seeds should be coming any day now. So I'll de definitely do an unboxing video. I'm excited about the seeds I'm getting from him. A lot of cool weather crops. He's got some fantastic, by the way guys, he's got some fantastic 
seeds for incredible bargain prices I'm telling you and they're all like tried and tested by him so you definitely want to get over to his blog um, gosh I think it's in my I'll have to put a link down below and, and look it up but um, I am excited to get those now let me just show you guys things are a little crazy in my garden right now because we've got the cooler weather but I still have some warm weather crops Okay, like for example, these zinnias here, which I know they're looking a little bedraggled, but they're still blooming. <laughs> which zinnias are definitely a warm weather flower. So let me go over um, to another part of my garden and show you where that's also going on. I actually think it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go over and check it out. Okay, well hopefully you can see this, but uh, right here, look at this guys. You know what these are? Cucumbers. <laughs> definitely again, a warm weather crop but look how well they're doing. I love, love, love cucumbers. I've actually been buying them. Ugh, I hate buying them because I have so many in the summertime. I've been buying them at the farmer's market at Trader Joe's. I'm telling you guys, just not the same. The taste from my own is amazing. Now these are growing a little bit slow. I planted them, I don't know, maybe a month ago and we had a real good spell of hot weather there. But I, they're doing great. And I think they might produce, this is a real sunny spot in my garden. I do have one sunny spot in my garden in the wintertime. And we get warm days now and then, and we'll have to see how they do. But they've got some good leaves on them. They're looking great. I'm hoping to get some production out of them, but well, you know, we'll have to see. Now let me show you something else. Okay, well, I was just uh, looking in this garden bed here and lo and behold, look what I found. <laughs> this is so, bizarre let me show you I'm gonna turn the camera around I'm just doing this handheld it's nothing like what camera guy does but anyway let me show you okay so down in here if you guys can see that would you look at that here it is November 11th Did you see that guys a watermelon can you believe it granted it's a tiny one but it is a watermelon unbelievable I've never seen a watermelon in my garden this late before this is the first time I've seen this well I saw it actually a few minutes ago but this is the first time I've seen this bizarre well I think this pot is kind of cool because I have a hot weather plant eggplant right here the white eggplant isn't that pretty hopefully it'll get big enough for me to pick and eat it and our environment has not gotten this thank goodness I don't know how it escaped the environment but anyway a hot weather plant and look down in here guys so I'm gonna try and move the camera down there a little bit closer some lettuce so we got the cool weather and the hot weather side by side because you know what you never know what the weather's gonna be like here in Southern California <laughs> okay guys hope you enjoyed this little quick little mini tour of the garden garden slash clean out preview what's coming on the garden channel hope you guys have a really happy Veterans Day and by the way most importantly, if any of you are veterans, I wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much, very much. I know it's a huge sacrifice for you to serve, for your families to be away from you, for you to be away from your families. I'm deeply grateful. Actually, my grandfather was a veteran too. He's gone now, but I always think of him on Veterans Day as well. So thank you so much. Hope you have a blessed and wonderful day.